acoustics. Something many are obsessed by, often splurging incredible amounts of money on technology in the pursuit of better and better sound. But acoustics is not merely limited to electric guitarists painting over which amp they should buy. It is also the studies of the properties of sound. A simple statement, yet it has far-reaching influences which reach not only deep into our psyche, but also into an inconceivably huge part of our lives and decision-making. Almost nearly all parts of our species' lives is influenced by it. Even looked at and used within the modern era as a main component within military weaponry. However, the term acoustic can also mean, and I quote, the properties or qualities of a room or building that determine how sound is transmitted in it. And this area is the one which we find tremendously interesting, as during our ongoing and in-depth research into many sites all over the world, coming to know a vast amount of interesting factors regarding a large swath of already studied or rather exposed sites within the modern mainstream. The Hypogeum in Malta being one of them, an extraordinary site that has been explored in detail and discovered to possess incredible acoustic abilities. Abilities which have been found at the site in question within this video. Yet we feel the connections between these remarkable sites need to be looked at closer. And the possibility that a now lost yet highly advanced, seemingly acoustically obsessed ancient civilization not only once existing, becomes ever more likely, but that they succeeded in discovering incredible things. Things we are yet to fully understand regarding acoustic resonance. So much so, that it allowed them to be the original builders of these marvelous structures. It was first thought that seven circular structures which are located around the sacred hill and on the neighboring hills, represented the Sun, Moon, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Venus, and Mercury. However, interestingly, it was later hypothesized that there may be a grave monument and a sacred area still preserved here. Interestingly, it seems although it is thought that pagans in Somatash climbed up the sacred hill within permitted history, the team have not attributed them with the achievement of creating the sites. This, to us, seems highly unusual. So much so, we may actually be witnessing a change in attitudes within academic study. If so, this is an enormous victory on ours and, more importantly, truth's behalf. Additionally, they have seemingly, bravely, put forward a quote which we also find highly intriguing, for it is one we feel which would have once been dismissed, yet another grain of inclination that strategies and most important attitudes within academic pursuit is altering. Quote, the archaeoacoustic research group known as SB ask us to take into consideration that it is possible to perceive a magnetic field by empirical observation and in the same way to pursue a higher state of consciousness during meditation or rituals in the presence of strong infrasounds. They continued, If one were to extend this research to the ruins of the other six temples, it may provide further insight. End quote. We find these claims interesting, especially due to the popularization of the acoustic knowledge regarding the Hypogeum in Malta. Additionally, ours and others repeated reports of the mass burial found there. Nearly 7,000 separate remains discovered there some claimed as seemingly having alien origins, found buried at the Hypogeum, yet is, ironically, a story and discovery which has been long attempted to be buried itself. Yet these acoustic properties are undoubtedly incredibly intriguing, possibly groundbreakingly important, especially when one considers it is accompanied with the claim of undisturbed burial grounds and when one considers what was claimed to have been found among the burial in Malta, a discovery we have previously covered. Somatash, within Turkey, is undoubtedly highly compelling.